Hi guys, Neil Waterhouse. If you drop shipping, it's obviously very important to make sure your suppliers have stock. You don't want to sell an item on eBay or Amazon and then find out your supplier's got no stock available. In this week's video, I want to show you the five steps to set up Scarcity Manager so that it checks your supplier's website. And if your supplier runs out of stock of one or more of your items, Scarcity Manager will automatically make your eBay listing show zero available. Scarcity Manager, by the way, is currently running beta tests for Amazon as well, and that will be available very shortly. So let's launch straight into it. Step one, if you don't already have an account with Scarcity Manager, is to obviously open one up. Scarcity Manager offers a 30-day free trial, so you can test it out for free for 30 days. To open an account, click on the register button and then enter your details. After you enter your details, Scarcity Manager will then automatically retrieve your eBay and Amazon listings. Let's say that one of your listings is this boat winch. Now do a search in Scarcity Manager for that listing. To do that, just type a keyword or keyword phrase into the search box in Scarcity Manager. So in this case, let's do a search for say, boat winch. And then enter the URL from your supplier's website. Now to find the URL from your supplier's website, just go to your supplier's website and search for the item. Now when you find that item, in this case the boat winch, you'll see the URL at the top of your browser, i.e. www.yoursupplier forward slash boat winch. Now copy that URL and then go back to Scarcity Manager and paste the URL as per the screenshot. Now to make inventory checking work in Scarcity Manager you need to do five things. First of all you need to add the URL as I just showed you. Next click on the enable supplier inventory checking checkbox. Next add a SKU. Now, for most suppliers, this SKU number can be anything at all. You can literally put Mickey Mouse if you like. But, for a few suppliers, like Dropship Zone as an example, you must put the SKU number that shows on their website, or on Dropship Zone's website. If you're not sure if your supplier requires a SKU, just send them an email and I'll normally get back to you in one business day. Next, tell Scarcity Manager how many of that item you would like eBay or Amazon to show at any one time. Keeping this number low, like say one available, increases scarcity. However, always check the sales history of your listings or your competitors' listings to see how many of that item previous buyers have purchased on average. If buyers continually purchase, say, three pieces at a time, set this to three. If buyers normally always purchase only say one at a time, then set it to one. Make sure though, it's critical, that you have the out of stock function in eBay enabled. If you don't have it enabled, when you sell your last one, your listing will end and you'll lose all that social proof, i.e. you know, 10 sold, 20 sold, 100 sold or whatever. Now, I won't go into how to set up the out of stock function in this video as I've done that before, but if you miss it, I'll put a link on the screen and below to that free video. Next. Click on Enable Scarcity Manager. And then lastly, save and bingo, now Scarcity Manager will automatically continually check your supplier's website to make sure this item is in stock. If your supplier runs out of stock, Scarcity Manager will automatically make your eBay and Amazon listings go to zero available. That's all for this week. I hope this video helped you with how to automate the process of checking your dropshipping supplier's website's inventory. Please scroll on down and leave me a comment below. And while you're there, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the No Fluff channel that teaches how anyone can make a full-time living from their home using eBay and Amazon. Until next week, stay safe, list more, sell more. This is Neil Waterhouse.